So I've come along to the Lyric Theatre here in Belfast to meet Mark Dugdale, who's currently playing the part of the Mad Hatter in Alice the Musical, which runs right through until the 5th of January. So we'll go inside and meet Mark, find out all about the show, and also how the Lyric Theatre are currently raising money for a very worthwhile charity, the Children's Heartbeat Trust. <laughs> So Mark, we're right in the middle of uh, the run of Alice the Musical. How's it all going so far? Actually, you know, it's been amazing. The feedback and the audience reaction has been incredible. Um, it's a real gem of a show, you know, and uh, I think just going out there every day and just seeing the kids and the fam- actually and the adults and kids alike, the reaction to it's been great, you know. And of course, it's such a popular show. It was first done here about 20 years ago, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, this is the 20th anniversary cast, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's one of those ones. We haven't, obviously, technology's changed a lot since then, so we've not seen any, like, clips or videos or her, but they were on, uh, they had recorded a, a soundtrack. So Mark, playing a part like uh, the Mad Hatter, that must be a great part to play. Oh, do you know what it is? It's really good fun. And I think as well, like, you just, I just see Johnny Depp in my head. So it's really hard to get that out. But you know, you've got to do your own thing with it, you know. Um, what's really surprised me is the Mad Hatter, yes, but the Caterpillar has been getting amazing reactions. So I'm, I'm really thrilled with that, you know, because I sort of... Paul's done this amazing song. It's um, quite Mardi Gras, quite um, Hispanic. So I've been doing it, you know, I've been in my head, I'm Mexican, and I've just been going for it, Mexican caterpillar, having a great old time, you know, but it, at that point in the show, it's all got quite dark, and I think I come out and it's, you know, a party all of a sudden, so it's been, that to me is like my favourite part of the show, and I didn't re- reckon it would be, you know. So things must be crazy for you, changing from character to character then. Oh, yeah, it's, do you know what, I, I genuinely, would, when I came into it, I didn't think I'd be able to pull that off, because you know what it is, you just get into one sort of zone, but it's it's weird. I think we've all managed just to come on and just you, the car, the you know that you change costume, and then you're 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 changed. You're done. You're ready to go. On you go, and it's completely new. You mentioned some of the music there. Of course, uh, there's great music and great songs in the show as well, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, our director and composer and writer, everyone, um, Paul Boyd. He's a genius. Uh, he has written this music, and it's just their earworms. They just get in there, and you know. I've been singing them for weeks, weeks now, you know, and we've just recorded a soundtrack. Um, all the proceeds are going to the Children's um, Heartbeat Association here in Belfast. And it's available on um, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, where you can buy hard copies here at The Lyric. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think we've just had really great fun with the music. You know, it's 20 years old, but he's updated it. He's written a couple of extra songs, like The Rabbit has a new song, The Mad Hatter has a song. And I think it's just it's just wonderful, you know. And of course, everybody knows the story of Alice in Wonderland, but uh, I know there's lots of different twists in this one, isn't there? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's kind of. I think every you know everyone's interpretation is is what it is. But I think actually, Alice in Wonderland, there's not a crazy amount of story, but what we've made of it is is, is brilliant, and and the way Paul's directed it and written it and the direction he's gone with it, it's just really easy to follow. It's, it's really engaging. I think all the characters you completely relate to, and it's as much for adults as it is for children. You know, I think what really got me on the press night was people came up to me, they just said, it's like Brexit, isn't it? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> so it's, it is kind of, it is wonderful in its own way for adults and for children, you know. My ears and whiskers, how late it's getting. And there must be something special about doing a family show at this time of year. Oh, it's amazing. You just go out there and you just see the energy is different. You know, you do a show all year round, but then the, the excitement kids have around Christmas time, it's infectious, you know. And we just had a show there for 400 young children and they just had the best time. And you can see the energy in them. They were just, they want, they want Christmas Day right now, you know. <laughs> so it's, you can't help but just go along with that and then getting, getting that energy, you know. And of course, it's been a very special year for the Lyric, uh, celebrating their 50th anniversary, hasn't yeah. it? Oh, it's been amazing. I, I was lucky enough to be asked to do the, 
the night of the 50th um, celebration. And it, the, I think the theatre has always done amazing work, but this year they've just excelled. Everything I've seen this year, good vibrations, you know, us, the Bar Humbug, every show has just been, it's just been a different league, you know? So it's been great. So how long do you get off for Christmas then? Oh, 20 minutes. No, um, we get Christmas Day and Boxing Day off, so it's all gone. It's all going to be good. We do one show on Christmas Eve, which there's still tickets available for. Um, but we're having, yeah, so two days off the luxury, to be fair. So it'll be grand. <laughs> Just tell us about uh, the charity record once again. Um, tell us about the charity and why you decided on that charity. Well, I think, I, I actually asked Paul that yesterday. I said, why, why that particular charity? And I think, you know, the the show it's you know there's a lot of there's a lot of talk of heart and there's a lot of talk of home and there's a lot of talk of the end of the queen of hearts and we're playing so they they wanted to do something to do with the heart and it, that I think they came across this charity and whether being children and you know Christmas time and just the nature of the show I think that's how they decided on that one but uh, yeah it feels very special to be able to do something you know for a charity and if any money is raised from that recording it'll be awesome you know yeah.